Morning everyone. So today's job, I'm going to give you a walk around of what we're doing, um, talk about the pipes that are in at the minute, how we've got to change them over to the new system, why we're doing the job, etc. I'm hoping because normally when I do a live, the signal is shit and it will cut out, but I'm hoping it, it's all right on this one. So we've already got the central heating and the hot water system drained down. We did that as soon as we got here this morning. That's the cylinder that's come out. There was a shower pump that's come out and we've got the new boiler going in the garage, replacing the one in the garage system boiler and then an unvented cylinder going in where that's just come out. So I'm gonna talk you through as much of it as I can. Where can we bend today? The posh plumber. So, hot water cylinder was here. We've already identified the pipes, but I'll just run that through with you now. So this was the cold feed into the cylinder. This is the hot out, so that's hot and cold. We're gonna reuse them on the unvented. These ones we've labeled, so the pump was there. So at the bottom of the pump in the left-hand corner, that's the flow from the boiler. This was the return from the hot water cylinder. So the, this pipe here is the return back to the boiler. Coming out of the three port, that's the flow to the radiators. And then this one here that tees in here is the combined cold feed and vent. So the heating system is filled and vents to atmosphere through that pipe. So we're gonna reuse, obviously we're gonna have the flow from the boiler, the return to the boiler, and then the central heating um, flow, they're gonna be reused. On this side here, there was a shower pump just down there, that's gone now. The hot came out of the cylinder. The cold into the um, shower pump was this one. And then we've got hot out and cold out. So these two are gonna be reused, this one's going. Um, we, had, we were lucky, we've got two drain cocks here for our heating system. There was obviously one on the uh, hot water cylinder. So we drained all that out this morning. So now we'll go in, actually, I'll show you the cylinder. So this is a Valent Uni store. Fitted these before, but never a pre-plumbed one. So it was about, how much extra was it? 250 quid? About 300 quid. About 300 quid extra, but it comes with everything pretty much ready to just pipe into it. So we've got, zone valves, hot water and central heating. We've got the primary return there, filling loop, PRV discharge, uh, TPRV discharge, and then our cold inlet into there, balance cold out of there, and then our expansion vessel, which comes supplied with it, is gonna connect into that. We're also gonna be using these, I've never used these before, these little Spirotech. Uh, auto air bottles because one of the problems they had on this job was basically we're in a bungalow and the pipe work all runs flat on the uh, ceiling and it gets a lot of air in so we're going to put some of these on the high points uh, got a deaerator for the boiler magnetic filter for the boiler um, so I'll go up and show you um, the pipe work have we got a torch up there Ben? Can I borrow your torch? Yeah. Just for a sec. Top. Okay. I don't know if you can see. See those two air bottles sticking up there? So in the past, Ben's been to this job and because it was getting so much air in it, he's put air bottles all over on all the high points. Right, I've just got to crawl in to the roof. Okay. Some more air bottles there. There's another one over there. Another one there. Right, I just gotta climb over this bit of wood and then I'll be with you. Hopefully I don't fall through the ceiling. That'd be good on a YouTube live. 
Right, can you see all right? So these three, these are the shower feeds. So this one's going, that's the cold into the shower pump. That's the cold out of the shower pump. That's the hot out of the shower pump. So they're gonna connect onto our new cylinder. Over here, with that torch. So if you mem remember in the far left, we had the flow from the boiler. So that comes along here, down into the old cylinder cupboard. And then we had the return from the cylinder that comes along and then there's a T because that's the return from the hot water cylinder. It tees into the return from the radiators. And then this one's the flow to the radiators so that just goes off around the house. And then this one was our cold feed and vent. So that's going the tanks, which are right. You can't see them over there on the right. So you've got to go through here to get rid of them. So they're all coming out. Obviously at the minute it's a gravity open vent system and we're going to be pressurizing the system, having a system boiler. So all of that stuff that way, most of it's going to go. So it's just a bit of uh, working out what pipe does what, where it's got to go. I think this one here is the, that's the hot. hot outlet from the cylinder and that's the cold down so the cold because we've got no mains in there for the filling loop to fill the system and, and also no mains for the uh for the unvented cylinder where that connects onto the tank we've got to get the mains and connect it to that to bring the cold down now i'm just going to see if there's any questions while i'm in the loft if not i'm going to get out again Hello from Faroe Islands, Egypt, Germany. I'm gonna guess the Ukraine hello is a bit of a poor taste joke, but if you're actually from Ukraine, I'll say hello. All right, so I'm getting out of it now. Some more air bottles. Okay. I did a four minute shower this morning, guys, and I've only just warmed up. I was freezing when I got here. The water's been extra cold the last few days, but I'm still doing that. I reckon I'm on like day, day 40 of cold showers. Not missed one yet. Even when I had COVID, I still did my cold showers. Right. So there's a wall there, but that's not where the boiler is. It's quite a lot further that way. So I'm going to go outside and take you to that. So, oh, just to show you this, Ben's just bought this. Little giant set of steps. And then you just, I don't know if there's a release, pull that up and you've got a little workstation. He's pretty impressed with that. How'd you get it back down? Ah, oh, right, I think I've done it. I think you need both hands though. Yeah, you need two hands to get it back down. Not cheap though. What was it, 150 quid? 135 quid. Good though. I've seen a lot of people with those little giant ladders on Instagram. Right, so then down here. That's my van. Oh, it's locked. Right. Plan B. Have you got the garage door key? It's locked itself. Morning, Farouk. So we've got a Valent Ecotec Plus system boiler going in and it's gonna be replacing that. Neat heat, squeeze by. 
So this is the gas pipe. That's obviously going to stay. And then we've got the flow and return. What we're going to do is put the boiler there, bring the flow and return down the side because you can't rear pipe the valent unless you buy a standoff kit. But there's plenty of room there to bring the flow and return down. Obviously get the DR8 out of the magnetic filter in. So one of the issues they had apart from the air, um, a lot of the radiators weren't getting hot. It's on eight mil microbore. So we're gonna flush the system as well. Probably gonna do that on Monday. And then the other problem they had, and I can't show you now because it's drained down, but the flow rate pressure out of the taps was diabolical because of the height of the head. So we've only got there and then the tanks above. It was just awful. They had one of their showers on the shower pump, but even that wasn't great. So they're gonna have unvented mains pressure hot water, so that's gonna improve. We're gonna pressurize the system and flush it. So hopefully the central heating will improve. Um, controls, I'm not sure what controls they're going for. I think just something basic, but we've actually, and this is a first for me as well, really. We've got an electrician coming to do the controls. Ben's sorted out an electrician, so I'm not going to be doing the wiring for once. Um, so, yeah, let me show you where we are, though, because it's a nice area. Let's walk out of here. It's my van. I've got some... Um, I think I've got some exciting news about my van to tell you soon. Uh, I won't spoil it yet. But before I tell you that, I'm probably going to do a van tour of the inside of my van. Um, that might give you a clue as to what the, what the news is. But yeah, if I just walk out of here. This is where we're working. By the canal. Another little pub there. And the floods are up, so if I go down here, I might be able to show you. Sometimes come kayaking down here, there's a weir that goes off the canal that I go down on my kayak. And when the floods are up, when there's a lot of water on the river, it's awesome because it's fast. I know this is not plumbing related anymore, guys, but just want to show you. So there's a bit of a, bit of a slide there. Look how fast that looks. Imagine going in off your kayak and straight down that. And then you can hire a boat, you can hire a kayak. There's another finner one there shoot into the water off that. It's not far, I promise you. So this is like, the ne this is the village next door to where I live, so I spend a lot of time around here really can walk all the way down this path alongside the canal, pretty much all the way to my house. The people are a bit funny, so if you live in these houses here, I've tried to get in my kayak off the grass there, and people come out and tell you off, can't get your kayak in there, you're not allowed to. People like doing that, don't they? Right, it's just where this bridge is here. Let's see if there's any questions. Sean from Australia's on. Good day, mate. Did a um, podcast last week with a Matt. Uh, is it Matt from Addicted to Tools? Australian lad. Good lad. Morning, mate. Right. All right, here we go. Yo, Nick. How's it going, mate? We were talking plumbing. Now we're talking kayaking. So this is the weir I come down on my kayak. which when the water's up like this, is awesome because it's nice and fast. You just get in, there's a gap here, you get in at. I 
Lindsay, you probably can't hear me now, but that's where you get in. And then you shoot down there. And then this goes all the way to where I live, so I can kayak home, basically. But yeah, I'll go back to the job now, because I've not told Ben, I, <laughs> I didn't tell Ben I was leaving. Right, I'm going to end it there. So I've got a, um, I've got another YouTube video out on Sunday of some designer radiators we fitted. Yesterday I did that with Marcus. Uh, what else have I got coming up? Um, just some bits and pieces. Monday I'm going to be at a college in Nottingham, I think San Diego talking to some students about copper doing some pipe bending challenges and stuff um, yeah that's about it really I've got a video to put out of step-by-step um, -step boiler service I got the uh, head of technical from Valent to show well, we'll do a video on each step you need to do on a, on a certain on a full service so I'm gonna get that edited and I'll try and get that out maybe Saturday morning it's just like a bit of a little extra upload <sighs> right unvented mains pressure yes that's all same thing it's just because there's no vent we call it unvented right guys thanks for tuning in and i'll uh yeah speak to you soon